Hey YouTube, it's Doug with The Rise Ranch here, and today I have a cool unboxing video for you guys, so let's get started. So, I cannot wait. I got these animals from Stay Weird Exotics, and I can't wait for you to see them. Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. That's, it's a joke. Here's some of the animals. I put them away already. So here is a beautiful blazing blizzard male I got from Stay Weird Exotics. Um, he is gorgeous. He is the reason why I got this order. Um, I love the carroting on the tail and I love the yellow body. So I think it's just beautiful and I can't wait to see what babies this boy produces. Um, he is absolutely stunning. So they're just fed mealworms and have a little water dish in there. He's in a quarantine tank for the moment. And this is a little girl blazing blizzard that I got to pair him with. So hopefully we'll get more. I'm going to coin them banana blizzards for now um, until I get the coloring I really want. But that male is close to the coloring that I'm desiring with blizzards. And it's the direction that I'm going to be taking. So I can't wait to produce more yellow blizzards. Um, really hoping to get like nice oranges in the blizzard as well. I think that there's a lot of potential with blizzards still. People don't think so because generally they're more aggressive, but I think that there is a lot of potential. Here is a little girl red stripe. Um, potentially pos het tremper, we're not really sure. So um, she was bred to a male that was het tremper and no trempers came out. So she will probably get test bred to this guy, who is a white and yellow raptor. He has one solid eye, one snake eye. Um, he is very pretty, so we will see how um, his babies turn out. I don't like it at the end of his tail. I know that's like something some people don't breed for if it has like a little weird little defect. But the rest of them is gorgeous, and I cannot wait. And I believe he is a white and yellow. Um, he is very light, so in color, and he pops. So, very, very cool. I got him as well from Stay Weird Exotics. Um, so that tail thing will be bred out, but it doesn't necessarily affect them. Who knows? It could have been a lot of things that affected it. So this is another blizzard um, female. I believe this is a max snow blizzard. It was a blizzard crossed to a super snow. So there's two options that what this little girl could be. Um, she has to be a max snow, so 100% max snow because it was a super snow. And being crossed to a blizzard, um, chances are by the color variation, this is a blizzard. So it's either a snow blizzard or it could be a super snow blizzard, but I'm leaning more towards snow blizzard because I've had super snow blizzards before and they're a lot darker than this girl is. So I'm gonna say snow blizzard just because of my experience. Um, and that comes in time too, because really you're dealing with shades of gray when you get to snow blizzards versus super snow blizzards. Um, here is a gorgeous little raptor female. She's very sweet. I like this girl a lot. Very pretty. She has one snake eye, one solid eye. I love snake eyes um, personally, but solid eyes are obviously more expensive and more attractive in the hobby typically, but snake eyes are my favorite. Um, next up, I have a super hypo tangerine carrot tail baldy female, um, het tremper. Um, very pretty female, very spicy female. Um, she like is very fast and skittish, so it could be something we were gonna work on, probably not. Um, probably just see how the babies turn out and hope that the babies are a little bit calmer and then wean her out of my projects eventually. I don't really like skittish animals very much, or crazy skittish. I do breed for temperament in a lot of my animals, so if I have a temperament like this, um, typically I try to breed it out eventually. But she is very pretty even though she's in shed and she is dull. I'm hoping to make some really cool sun glows um, and super hypo tangerine caratel baldies. Uh, this is her sibling, which she's hiding, obviously. Of course he is. 
and he is a super hypo tangerine carrot tail baldy as well. So these guys were the offsprings of a sun glow tremper crossed to an inferno. So obvious, nice carroting on the tail. You can definitely see he's just a super hypo tangerine carrot tail baldy. Um, I don't really care too much about all the different names for tangerines and all that. Um, he does come from their inferno line. Um, so whatever that means to you, um, that's great. There's just too many names out there for tangerine leopard geckos for me to feel comfortable. And I'm old school and how I breed leopard geckos and how I name names. So um, this is just a super hypo tangerine care tail baldy to me. Um, especially with being the offspring of a sun glow, which sun glows are super hypo tangerine care tail baldies trempers. So very cool. Very cool male. Can't wait to use him for a variety of projects. He seems to be a really awesome male. I'm really pumped about all three of the males I got. Um, I think that they're going to have a lot of genetic potential for my tremper lines. And as you guys know, typically I like bell lines. Um, there is a reason why I'm going the tremper route at the moment. Um, and I bought pretty much all trempers except... Potentially, this girl is a pure red stripe female, which I'm hoping for that because ideally, I would love to cross a beautiful red stripe female like her to Tigger, who is my Bell Sun Glow um, head eclipse male, which would be really neat. Um, I'm not opening it up because I was just touching animals that are in quarantine, but. Yeah, I'm really excited of what this boy will do for my tremper lines. He's probably gonna be my predominant male um, as he's gorgeous. Now, one thing I do wanna note for everyone, blizzards are known to be more aggressive animals um, or leopard geckos in general, just the morph tends to be a little bit more feisty. Um, with that being said, hopefully um, over time we'll be breeding out the temperament in these guys. I'm only going to be selecting blizzards that are friendly. I've had blizzards before, many blizzards. My super snow blizzards were fabulous. They never tried to bite me, never hissed. Um, really like blizzards. Um, I've had other blizzards before and they never bit me or were super aggressive. Um, I'm a little bit more cautious with blizzards sometimes, depending on their attitudes. And obviously I don't know this guy well enough yet to see what he's like, but um, I look forward to finding out. And he's gorgeous. I love all the yellow on him. He will make an amazing male for my blizzard projects. So yeah, can't wait to show you guys what comes out of these eight leopard geckos I got. Um, this blazing blizzard female is ovulating, the red stripes ovulating, and this sun glow down here is ovulating as well. So just two of the females aren't ovulating, but that's okay. The red stripe is a prudent breeder, so she will be bred very shortly. Um, this girl is big enough to be bred, so we will breed her. Um, I think it's interesting, my line of leopard geckos, um, especially working with bells, they're a lot bigger than these guys. Um, this guy's pretty decent size though. Um, he's like the size that I'm used to working with, but maybe it will come with time and they'll all get bigger, but I highly doubt that they will, um, but we'll see. I'm very excited to see where these projects go and what turns out mm. of all these geckos. So, yep. And the red stripe female, just as a disclosure, she'll be bred to the white and yellow raptor male. Um, so we'll hope to get some more white and yellow hypos out of that or something like that. Um, it will be good or white and yellow normals, um, potentially. Or if we get a tremper, we'll know. She's had tremper and I can't breed her to bells. So it's kind of like a prelude. I was debating about breeding her to this male down in here, this super hypo tangerine hair tail baldy. Who's gorgeous, but uh, I don't know if she's het tremper and breeding a het to a het means I have a 25% chance that she could have a um, tremper pop out. And I would rather have a 50% chance because my odds go up and breeding her directly to a male tremper um, will drastically improve my odds of seeing if she is or is not. 
um, Pat Tremper because so far she is not proven to be Pat Tremper. So this guy's gonna get lucky probably today. So we don't miss that ovulation window to be honest, but he is gorgeous. I am so happy to have him. I saw his pattern, saw his color. I was just like, I can't pass up the color in him. The tail I could, but um, it's fine. It's just the tail and we'll see what the babies hatch out. They could all be normal and healthy. And sometimes you have to decide uh, what is worth it for your breeding projects. And uh, I've bred geckos with little tail things before and all the babies turn out to be normal and I'd never have that problem again. So it just depends what you're willing to work with. And if you do have one that hatches out with that, you just sell it as a pet and you wean this out of your line and you do it very quickly. You do not keep, um, you know, doing that. But I bet you its tail got pinched as a baby or a clutch mate bit it or something. Um, I've seen that a lot in leopard geckos. So yeah, he's gorgeous. And with the stripe, he should have some really lovely striped babies with the red stripe. So very excited to see what hatches out. Typically I don't hold on to babies that are normals, um, but if I get some white and yellows, uh, potentially we could hold on to them. And this was a white and yellow cross to a white and yellow, so I'm pretty sure he's a white and yellow raptor, um, especially with how bright he is. It just makes sense to me. All right guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of these animals. Take care.